Hey, <clears throat> thanks for joining me for another video. Today's video is going to be something completely different than your usual flash drives and hard drives and uh, iPhones and smartphones and all that kind of stuff. Today we have something totally different uh, because uh, this job just came uh, to us. Two of them actually came to us uh, recently, uh, Rush Jobs and it's um, tapes. The tapes we got are called LTO Linear Tape open uh they've been around since the 90s um we don't get them very often but we do get them sometimes and i figured why not make a youtube video because no one else has a, a data recovery from uh that tapes uh, the lto tape so here we are um the job came in i tried multiple tools to recover i tried linux i tried a few other ones but at the end the only way to recover lto tapes is to recreate the environment they came from um, so in that case was running a Windows Server R12, uh, installing the software and then running um, a restore function. Now the, some of these tapes were not completed, so there was a few options we had to check to get it working, but uh, it, it is a pretty straightforward job, which is extremely time consuming. So a bit of background on tapes. As I said, they've been around for a long time. Uh, here's uh, your standard tape. So this tape here, for example, um, this tape is a uh, Dell. It's an 800 gig tape with 1600 gigs compressed. Um, so now I think IBM released Ultrum tapes that are, um, if I'm not mistaken, they are I think 20 gigs, uh, 20 terabytes. They're 18 terabytes, so they're pretty big. And that's with compression, obviously. I think uh, they're not too expensive. I think um, this type of storage is called cold storage. Uh, so you write to it and it's also a warm drive. So so. Uh, write once, read many, so um, uh, they're very good for backup, it's just that you have to keep your backup current because if you don't keep your backup current, then obviously uh, you're only going to get as good as the, the last uh, tape you had. Anyways, enough with the talking, I'm sure you want to see how this works, because uh, I'm pretty sure many of you have never seen tapes or even heard of them. I know some of you who work in IT have seen these and use these, but... Um, Others have not, so uh, let's get into it and let's see how to recover data from tapes. Okay, here we are in my computer. Um, this is not the computer that this uh, tape backup is in. It is actually running on Windows Server R12. I had to um, refresh my memory uh, when it comes to server. I haven't used server in quite a while. I, last time I used it was in school uh, when I was uh, learning, um, uh, getting my Windows certification for, for server, which I pretty much never used, but anyway. <laughs> Um, here we are using it um, for an actual job. Um, I tried using this software uh, without Windows Server. Unfortunately, it would not work. Um, the software that the uh, was being used to back up these tapes uh, only works on that software. I've used some other uh, tools. Uh, let me open one here. So I tried using this software right here, but unfortunately, because the way that this tape was recorded and then the way the um, each individual data, uh, each individual uh, backup uh, set was stored, this software didn't work. It recovered some data, but it wasn't in the right order, in the right uh, consistent, it wasn't consistent. Um, the way the tapes were stored, and I'll show you in a minute, uh, they were stored in individual systems, um, and there were full backups and incremental backups, and this software was not able to, um, was not able to do that. So we'll close that. Um, let's go over to my Windows server now with remote desktop and have a look at it. Okay, here we are in Windows Server. So let's go and uh, open uh, Veritas Backup. So here we are. Um, the tape is already in, the one I put in uh, at the beginning of the video. So you can see this tape is compressed 1.73 to 1. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do inventory and catalog. Now I can hear in the back the tape is just spinning up and it's gonna start reading the tape and cataloging it. Okay, so the tape is done um, cataloging, so now it's gonna be in one of the computers. And I'm, I have to blur all this out because I can't really show the names of these systems because it is uh, uh, a real case, so we can't really show the names. Uh, I don't wanna be, I don't, I don't wanna have anything here identifiable um, when it comes to um, uh, this, this, this video. So we can uh, view the tape here. We can see what backup sets we have. So we can see here, these are 
these are snapshots so we have see which computers we uh we can restore and the dates so to restore uh individual tape uh we know to back up and restore so let's uh look which one we can restore not this one uh let's see if this one's got a backup for us so we know it's the 12th let's see what's in here just few files so we can right click restore go back here in the date a little bit select our files go next and here we can restore to either original location so if you're running it from the server that means restoring you restore it to original location but we're not we only doing data recovery at this point so we're gonna go and browse and we're gonna find um, our drive we restoring the data to and here we are we're going to drive D because that's what I'm keeping all this and this is a Thursday tape and this is this computer here I'm gonna go okay next now the soft is gonna verify um, the tape quickly this doesn't take very long and the transfer rate act on these tapes is actually quite quick um, I, I can probably restore about a terabyte every 40 minutes so it's not bad I mean considering um, how much day it, it is a tape tape right so it's, it's not like it's it's just it, it, can, it can has random access here and there I mean, it, I mean using the um, the catalog you can go randomly where you want to be on the tape but uh, as you recover in data you have to recover uh, sections so we're gonna select restore file corrupt files because we want to we want to get everything you know next we want any commands and there we go next and finish so that one's gonna start going in a minute you're gonna see progress here so the next one I know that we need to restore is this one again and here's a differential backup from that day as well it's 249 gigs you can just check it there's the data so we're gonna go right click <clears throat> restore as we did with the other one <clears throat> select our backups go next point to the location we want it in okay drive D this is Thursday number three and this is this one okay so um, okay so now we go uh, we, we pointed it where we want it go next it's gonna verify again I just heard it finish the first um, section that we did so let's watch how fast it's gonna restore 250 gigs I'm not gonna record the entire process of 250 gigs but let's see how it's gonna be restoring it so we go next here just validating the drive we want the yep we want that yep yep this and finish and now if you go back to a server list you're gonna see this computer now is gonna start restoring I just open the resource monitor here and look at disk activity so let's see how fast it's gonna write the data to um, into our D drive it hasn't started yet it's still um, uh, finding the data now so it knows where to go it needs to rewind the tape into that location uh, so you can start restoring now this is not the only uh, recovery software out there for tapes uh, many different corporations use different kind of software so uh, this is just the one we encountered this time but I've seen other ones um, but in this case this is the one they use so here we go it's starting to read now you already have gigabytes so it's it's going at decent speed you can you can see it's writing quite fast um, we already had two gigabytes so it's I mean you, you gotta consider this is a tape it's not a, a USB flash drive it's not a hard drive this is not some uh, um, your typical storage but you can see how it's storing anyway that's it for the video there's gonna be part two coming up with this I have another job of tapes a whole box sitting behind me over there and a tape drive with the tape stuck inside so that's gonna be for the next video I definitely want to uh, film that uh, uh, job as I'm trying to remove the tape. Hopefully the tape is not uh, stuck on the head itself because that's gonna be quite uh, Challenging to, to get but that's gonna be the next video. I don't, it won't be the next video But it's gonna be sometimes uh, in the near future because I have two flash videos to uh, to release There was actually gonna suppose this video you're watching right now actually supposed to be released uh, next week, but um, 
but I'm just working on a flash flash drive right now that um, I'm just having some issues so I'm just trying to uh, figure out with um, flash extractor and VNR what what I can do it's uh, it's one of those blob flash drives uh, but that'll be next next week hopefully when that case is solved if not there's gonna be a video of a failure I guess uh, but yeah you know what to do like share subscribe uh, comment on my videos it greatly helps with the algorithm uh, and I'll see you in the next video